Yeah, yeah, what's going on, man? It's your boy Gamma Club, and um, this video is to everyone who's watching. You know, feel free to leave your comments, your thoughts, your opinions on what I'm going to talk about and what I'm going to say. But specifically, I want to know what all the fighting game enthusiasts, all the fighting game fans out there that are watching this, please leave your thoughts, your comments, your feedback, do a video response, whatever. I just want to kind of know what you guys feel about the topic that I'm going to discuss. Um, to get right into it, first of all, let's talk about Winter uh, Brawl 5, which took place over the weekend that just passed. Um, it was held in Philadelphia. Um, I was not able to attend, but, you know, shout out to uh, Spooky. He was able to put together a really nice stream, as always. And a lot of us was able to catch the uh, tournament. At least, you know, like the top 16 and the top 8, I was able to catch that um, over the stream. Now, as far as Marvel vs. Capcom 3, um, I don't think anyone is shocked at the end result of that. You know, the singles was won by uh, Justin Wong. And, you know, he's won at EVO for Marvel vs. Capcom 2, like, uh, forever. You know, he's been just winning that forever. Uh, Sanford Kelly won a few times, I believe. And it's crazy because it seems like, you know, Sanford Kelly's, his skills in Marvel vs. Capcom 2 hasn't really transitioned to Part 3 fully. So, um, you know, he's still kind of working on that. I mean, he's still a beast. I'm sure he can take me out and quite a few people out with no problem. However, you know, he, he struggles with the game. And... Even Yipes, you know, Yipes admitted it himself. He said right now he's like on scrub status. He's still working. And he's a beast. Everyone knows that he doesn't. He's putting a lot of work for part two. And so, um, but anyway, you know, despite that, there was a lot of really good contenders. I mean, shout out to uh, D-Nice, uh, Rai Rai, who made it to the finals. You know, a lot of beast plays, a lot of different characters. I mean, of course, you saw like 100 Sentinels, but... Um, for the most part, I saw a nice variety of characters and some crazy stuff that I've never seen online, at least, and I've never expected, you know, in terms of combos and combinations. So, anyway, um, you know, it was hype, but Justin Wong took that. Now, um, I want to get into Super Street Fighter 4. That's the main thing that I'm going to discuss. Super Street Fighter 4. Now, before I discuss anything, let me say this about Super Street Fighter 4. About Street Fighter 4 in general, man, that game catches a lot of flack for a lot of reasons, such as uh, the online play being laggy, people complain about the bad matchups, and just all sorts of things. And I mean, I have to admit, you know, I'm part of the people, I'm one of the people that have complained. You know, I use Geef and I complain about people who play cheap and zone me out, blah, blah, blah. Regardless of all of that, we all have to admit, this game, the Street Fighter 4 series, single-handedly revitalized the fighting game community. I mean, we got to keep it real. Without this game, a lot of us would not be as interested in the scene as we are now. Even if you were following EVO years ago, when it comes to the Street Fighter 4 series, it just, like, took it to a whole new level. So with that said, that's still one of my favorite games to watch when it comes to tournaments and streams and anything like that. So, of course, I uh, watched the Super Street Fighter 4 Finals. And who made it to the Finals? Well, none other than Justin Wong. However, there's another guy. There's a guy he had to face. And this guy, this is who I really want to talk about, man. Um, this guy has been putting in a lot of work for quite some time. I mean, um, recently I've just been, like, finding out a lot more about him. In fact, it's crazy because I had to really dig in deep and do research on him. And in some cases, I just ran into his name and the stats, and I found out, like, okay, you know, he got skills, and I watched some of his fights, and I'm like, oh, wow, he's nice. <laughs> now, there was a website I went to a few weeks ago, and this is like an online money match system. It's crazy because you put a bid, and your opponent puts a bid up, and you guys fight it out. Whoever wins gets the pot. And it's crazy because I was looking at that website, I was looking at the stats, and I'm thinking, like, wow. Yo, this dude winning like $150 here, $200 here, $50 here. Like, he can really just off this website alone just live in his own apartment and take care of himself. And he's been putting in a lot of work. That's not a website that a scrub would go to or anyone that doesn't really have skills and put money on a lot. So he's beating really good players left and right on his website, walking off with their money. And I'm like, okay. And then uh, last year, I believe it was at... Uh, Columbus, well, I'm not sure if it was last year or this year, but um, actually, no, no, I'm sorry. At NEC, NEC, um, he, uh, he he made it to the finals, 
and he came in second place. He didn't win, but he he beat Justin Wong a couple times, and you know he lost, but it was a real nice match. And I believe it was earlier this year at Columbus Bar Battles, he actually beat Justin Wong this time. He either sent him to lose his bracket or he eliminated him. I'm not sure which order it was, but it was him and Banana Ken. Those are the two guys that took Justin Wong and got the tournament. And to me, that was unbelievable that I really didn't hear anything about that. And I had to, like, dig deep to find that match and to hear about it. I was like, why isn't anyone talking about this? Anyway, fast forward to over this weekend. He makes it to the finals. And, of course... Who am I talking about? You guys already know. It's in the description. It's in the title of this video. None other than Mr. Wolf Crone, the Port Loaf King. Yo, this dude was at the finals. He made it to the finals. Now, this is the grand finals. So, it's none of that, you know, I lost in the pools because I was playing around type nonsense. I mean, you've beaten a lot of people to make it to this point. You are going to be on your A game. You're going to give it your all. You're not messing around. You want to win. He's and the, and he's playing against the top street fighter player in the country right now. When it comes to street fighter, no matter who you are, you always hear about Justin Wong, right? So he plays against Justin Wong. He beats Justin Wong convincingly. And I mean, even though Justin Wong switches to Makoto, you know, I mean, he has a really nice Makoto. He still beat him. And now I know this was just over the weekend, so I'm not expecting like you know everybody to just kind of give him a a, 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 a website and, and just start idol worshiping him or any of that. So that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this. He's been putting in a lot of work. He's been doing a lot of big things and making moves in the community. And he's consistently shown and proven that he is a top contender. And at this point, he can be considered a champion player. Why is he not getting the props and the respect and the attention that I feel like he deserved? Again, I'm not talking about the fanboy, crazy, you know, worshiping. I'm just saying, like, you know, when he beat Justin Wong at Columbus Bar Battle, I had to, like, research to find that match online. And if it wasn't for me just stumbling upon it, I would have never heard of it. Like, I'm not hearing about him as much as I'm hearing about some other players who I'm not going to say any names about. But some of these other players are sponsored. And they have not won, like, any majors recently or any majors that I can think of. Some of these other sponsors, I mean, some of these other players are really well known. And I'm thinking, like, okay, aside from their personalities maybe, what is it that they are doing in terms of skill that makes them so known? Like, it's crazy. I mean, I just want to see more balance. Like, I'm not hating on anyone, so I'm not going to say any names. What I'm speaking about specifically is, you know, when it comes to people like Wolf Chrome, it's crazy because I've seen an interview that he did once. And he's a very, like, soft-spoken type of guy. He seems low-key. And, you know, he doesn't really talk about himself, like, in a braggadocious way. He doesn't bash other players and make it seem like he has zero competition. I mean, he's a real cool guy. He's a humble guy. That's amazing for someone his age. Because, you know, the young guys, I mean, those are the ones that are, like, in your face, disrespectful. They don't really think. They just want to make themselves look good. And that's quite the opposite of this guy. So it's very, very, you know, crazy to see somebody that young carry themselves like that. So uh, shout out to you, Wolf Chrome. But anyway, as far as everyone else is watching this video, man, what do you guys think about what I'm saying? You know, am I missing something? Am I onto something? Am I right? Am I wrong? Like, I just feel like why aren't the new up-and-coming plays, especially the ones like Wolf Chrome, who have been consistently winning in, in crucial situations, I mean, they have been proving themselves time and time again. Why aren't they, like, sponsored or getting that kind of hype and attention that these other guys who always seem to be on the pedestal are getting? That just doesn't seem fair to me. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to know what you guys think about that. And, uh, you know, please let me know if you think I'm wrong and if you think I'm off. And, you know, explain why. Either way. Leave me some comments, some feedback, some thoughts, opinions. Do a video response. I want to know what you guys think about that, man. And before I leave, um, let me say this. Or before I stop talking about this, um, I've heard of him referred to, I think, once or twice as TFA Wolf Chrome. I'm not sure if that's like a, a team or an official sponsor or if it's just a group of guys that he's cool with, that he runs with. But if it is a sponsor... I mean, they need to step it up. They need to get his name out there, man. They need to get his buzz out there because he is putting in work. He's doing what he's supposed to be doing in order for him to be a really uh, uh, considerable, you know, guy to be sponsored. I mean, seriously, man, this dude 
deserves more props. He has a YouTube channel. He doesn't even put videos of himself fighting. He can do that, like, just all day, every day when he's just scrubbing people out left and right. So, like I said, he's a very, very humble guy, very cool guy. But I would like to see players like him getting that, that, that Justin Wong kind of attention. And, I mean, maybe he does have to win Evo. But last time I checked, when it came to Street Fighter 4, um, the other guys haven't won Evo either. Only Daigo has been winning. So, again, why is this guy not getting props? Somebody let me know. Anyway, that's all I got to say for that, man. You know, just kind of give me some feedback on what you guys think. Um, you know, I got some more to talk about. I'm going to cut that to another video. So, guys, you know, check me out later. Peace.